welcome to this episode of Race Face Driver Updates. I'm Tom Baker. We had several of our Race Face drivers in action in our own version of March Madness, so let's look at how they fared. We'll start in California, where Jesse Love was competing in the Sprint Car Challenge Touring Series event at the nationally renowned Placerville Speedway. Jesse was competing against some of the best in sprint car racing. He qualified 7th and then finished 6th in his heat race, putting him into the B-Main. On the start of that event, he jumped the cushion and lost some ground. He began passing cars and charged his way back through the field, but missed the transfer by just one spot. Jesse will get another shot at conquering Placerville this Saturday night as he heads right back into action on the challenging dirt oval. Las Vegas, Nevada is our next stop. That's where Jaden Walbridge was running the 30-lap junior late model feature on Hometown Heroes Night at the infamous Bull Ring at Las Vegas Motor Speedway. Jaden's day was a veritable roller coaster. He had engine problems with his primary car in practice. He literally drove the race car the short distance back to the shop where the team's backup car was waiting. The problem was the rear end in the backup car was bad. So they took the rear end out of the primary car, put it into the backup car, which had the healthier motor, and got back to the track just in time to be the last car out to qualify. Want to guess where he qualified? Yep, on the pole. He started fifth after a pill draw inverted the field for the main, but he charged into contention quickly and found himself leading 16 laps with the race winding down to the end. However, a late race caution bunched the field and Jaden's Hollywood ending got interrupted by a pass coming to the white flag. The youngster finished second, edged out by just six one thousandths of a second at the finish line. It was still a winning day for the team with the adversity they had to overcome to get that second place finish. He'll be back in action this weekend at Madeira Speedway to give it another go. Bryce Bazanson finally got a taste of racing action after a long offseason for him in the state of Washington. Racing for the first time in the Evergreen Speedway Super Late Model Series on pavement for Jefferson Pitts Racing, Bryce qualified mid-pack, but when it came to race, he was ready. He methodically picked his way through the field and soon found himself knocking on the door of the top five. He was passing for fourth position when his car broke traction and he was tagged by the competitor behind him, causing some left front damage. He ended up 11th in a clear case of the result not reflecting what was a strong first performance in the car. He'll be back in action at Evergreen on Saturday, April the 20th. Onward we go now to the Texas Motor Speedway, where both Sheldon Creed and Anthony Alfredo were in action in Friday's Vancor 350 for the NASCAR Gander Outdoors Truck Series. Creed qualified third in his GMS Racing Chevy and ran up front early on, but problems during the race set him back to an eventual 22nd place finish. Alfredo was making his third series start in the DGR Crosley Toyota number 54 and was running solidly around the top 10 when his truck got loose while side drafting another competitor and hit the outside wall cutting his impressive run short and leaving him 28th at the finish. Fortunately, Anthony was okay after the scary-looking incident. His next series start will be at Charlotte in May. That's it for this week's Driver Updates. You can catch up on any episodes that you might have missed at RaceFace TV On Demand. As always, we encourage you to support local racing in your community, and we will see all of you back here next week with more from your favorite race face drivers. Go out there and make it a safe and successful racing weekend. For Rod Wortham and his entire race face staff, I'm Tom Baker. Thanks for watching.